Greetings fellow girls, guys and gamers, this is Small Archangel, thank you for joining me for today's episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 and we are down a big hole in the ground. As you can see, we haven't got ever so far, this is because uh, I've got my durability, uh, what is it, 100%, uh, I can't remember, 100%, 50%, something like that, and I've got a three quali uh, 300 quality axe and uh, we're not at very highly skilled at breaking rocks yet, uh, so, <laughs> and hitting stone against stone is a little bit primitive and doesn't work all that well so we could probably do with a decent pickaxe but of course until we've got the means to repair a pickaxe uh, it's all a bit academic anyway so we're going to make fairly slow headway here but this in any case is going to be my nocturnal job um, so for now we're going to head up topside uh, and do the things that we have to do in order to get our base up and running so if you've been watching you'll know that Yet again, we have uh, sort of started laying our ground plans here. Uh, I'm just going to have a bit of a check around. I don't see any zombies. I don't see any zombies. Okay, we've got 39 of these blocks, which is not ever so many. Uh, so what we do need to do is equip ourselves. Well, I'll equip myself with a bow. Do you know what? I'm going to make a club because just sometimes... Oh, hello. Let's make one of those. Just sometimes we do end up in a situation where... Uh, we don't have uh, the uh, we don't have anything to bludgeon enemies at. They just come at us from nowhere. So let's let's just get one of those. I've got probably some more crud we can put in our chest here. This is a very temporary measure. Uh, we will get rid of it directly. Okay. So all the stuff we don't. Oh, there we go. Level three hundred club. Certainly. No, we'll keep that. Uh, clay. I'm going to keep that too. Dirt. Yeah, we don't need that. I'm going to put that in there as well. Actually, there we are. And uh, we've actually got... Oh, no. Is that a spare coat? I'm pretty sure that I'm already wearing a duster, right? <laughs> yeah. That's my spare duster. There we go. So there we've got rid of the things we don't need to be carrying. So we've got a nice empty inventory. So during the day, basically, we're going to go around and we're going to loot and we're going to grab and forage the resources that we need to build. But it is day 10 and on day 14, we want to have at least a rudimentary base um, from which to um, defend ourselves and bag a few zombie heads. So we got to get with the building. Now, at the moment, I have got... 2009 clay and 2035 stone. Now, obviously, I'm getting stone from mining down there, so that's good. Let's make some more flat. No, we need to make cobblestones. That's what we need to make. Cobblestone. Cobblestone rocks. Here we go. Oh, yeah, we can make tons of them. I don't actually want to make that many. Yeah, let's make 200. Let's just call it 200, uh, and then we can craft some more flagstone. Uh, in the meantime... These are just zombie bait, so, uh, and we're going to get some more clay, aren't we, from doing this as well. Uh, let's just pick up these, because they're just in the way as well. And uh, snowberries are one of the things, the plants in games that we can't currently, uh, we can't currently plant those, so uh, they're quite useful to sort of gather as well. So we're going to go around the outside here, we've done this before. And basically, this just means that, yeah, our wood frames here, we're going to be able to use those down below for our nice uh, little bolt hole, which is a very much a temporary... Oh, oh, that is not what I meant at all. Do I have... Yeah, can I just repair that, please? Thank you. There we go. Uh, and, uh, oh, my goodness me. These plants are going to be the death of my cobblestone, my flagstone blocks, if I'm not very careful. Um, but, yeah, if we do this, then uh, at least we don't have to worry about... Wandering hordes, of which there are many in the game now, bring on the wandering hordes. I like them actually, but they are annoying at times and they will turn up when you're working on your base, obviously. If you stay in one area for very long at all, and it's a bit random, sometimes you could be in an area for really not very long at all and they'll show up uh, and just really get in your stuff and, and annoy you and break things. So we don't want anything for them to aggro on when they do turn up. Because uh, resources, well, we're not exactly swimming in them at this point. Okay, and at this point, our ground le level is not, well, it's not absolutely level. But I think what we might have to do, we might just have to raise this up a tad. And if we have to put ramps at the front of it to stop, stop zombies from aggroing on it, then so be it. But uh, at the back, we definitely need to be at this kind of level. So I've dug that out. But uh, 
yeah, we probably need to be at this kind of level here, which means that we're going to need to double level this. And then all of this here is going to be at this level. But yeah, that means we're going to need to put a ramp at the front. But that's okay. We can do that. We can definitely do that. This is why I try and find land that is flat. But uh, unfortunately, that's not always possible to do. There we are. And we've only got five blocks left now. So we may as well just lay those here. Uh, and then we've got... We can make some more. So I'll make some more flagstone blocks. There we go. And then I'm probably going to need to get some more resources. But as I say, clay-wise, we're going to get lots of that just from digging out around here. There we go. And there we are. That's filling my stack up again. There we are. Uh, we're going to get lots of clay just from digging this lot here out. Um, though I don't think... Well, there's not much point in digging this lot out if we're going to just place blocks on top of it. But there is an awful lot of clay here. And I think I would like to just uh, dig it out, really. Let's just change those around. There we go. But at the same time, I would quite like to do some looting. We've got a trader over there at this juncture. Not really got anything to sell to the trader. I've already got 84 old cash, so we're not exactly swimming in it. But it's good to know that he's just opposite over there. We've got our forge over there, which is where my bedroll is currently. So that's where we'll respawn at the minute. And then we've got various buildings around here. We haven't found a working stiff tools. If we had, I'd be tempted to go and raid it to see if... Uh, we've got, oh now we've got a chest over there with some stuff in it. We should probably head to that chest to recoup our stuff. I don't actually remember what it was we left there, but it might be worth our while grabbing that. And I'm going to hit a few tyres on route, to be honest, because uh, getting some mini bike wheels, well it's never, never too soon to start with the mini bike plan. That didn't get me any. And we may as well... Hey, there we go. Ooh, not bad. Green. Nice. Okay, we may as well go back then. I'm just going to put all my surplus stuff in the chest. And that way we at least have a free free space um, to pick up any loot that we find along the way. And the stuff that's in our chest as well. And I'm fairly sure there's probably another drop around here somewhere as well. Okay, we're on our way. There's another thing of some sort over there. Now, is that where our forge is? That is our forge over there. Now, of course, what we've also got is loads and loads of coal deposits. You can see them on the, over the map here, these little black bits everywhere. And we really, really want to go and grab some of that, actually, because then we can use that to fuel up our forge uh, and make some concrete and things. Um but uh, yeah, one thing at once, one thing at once, our chest is just over here. So we'll go to the chest, we'll grab our stuff, then we'll head back. And then, yeah, I think we'll go and get some coal because then, as I say, we can start with the cement. Did we learn the cement recipe? This is the thing. I've lost track now as to whether we've learned how to make concrete or not because, uh, yeah, we've got a character from a previous game and I think I've probably gone past it if it's even in here at all steel smithing we've got already concrete mixing there but that's locked because we need mining tools of 20 and our mining tools is currently at what construction tools science 3 ah we need our science as well to well do you know what there we go we've got science of 3 sorted and concrete mixing, no. So our working tools that are whatever it is. Construction tools of 10, mining tools. What is our mining tools at? Mining tools, there, 14, 20. Well, do you know what? We're doing quite a lot of mining at the moment. It'll probably go up by itself. If it doesn't, I'll help it along a little bit. But uh, I think it'll probably go up by itself. Right, so we left our chest, of course, in the building where we were hiding out during the horde. Morning. Deep, 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 whatever you are, woman. Some some sort of rotting woman. As lockers, which we're going to have a little look at. Ooh, hello. Yeah, I prefer that to the hoodie. Nice. I might keep the hoodie. A oh, bit of sartorial choice. Never hurt a person. And actually, am I right in thinking those cowboy hats scrap down into leather? I think they do. I don't ever wear the cowboy hats. Uh... I think I find that I end up with a bit too much 
um, and manipulation that way. We can have too much of a good thing. Oh, we've got another zombie over here. I can't quite remember which of these trash buildings we were holed up in. Okay, I missed his head completely. Die! And again. Oh, do you know what? Let's just see if we can bop him on the head. Bop him on the head. Oh, yeah, that's kind of satisfying. Oh, yeah, I like that. There we go. Oh, have I learned that? No, but I have now. All right, X. X marks the spot. Oh, we have a drop now, but I don't know exactly where that's going to be. How far? Are... Oh, not that far, actually. I think we might have to pay that a little visit as well. I can see it from here, in fact. There it is, and it's just behind the building that we were holed up in before. So, wow, we're have a busy day today. We've got a lot of things to do, so let's get cracking. So, I'm going to try and avoid the spikes that I put here earlier. Oh, now... I have to nerd pole to get up here, and I'm not sure I've got my frames with me, have I? I have not. That was a slight fail. Okay. Well, no, we're not getting up there, are we? Because I took those out. Okay, well, we don't have much choice, do we, really? Frames only cost two. Wood frames only cost two wood apiece. So, let's get three of those. I'm not using my flagstone blocks, obviously. There we go. Um... But this should work. I'm probably going to need more than three of these, right? No, I'm not. There we go. Fantastic. All right. And where did I put my ladder? It's over there. There we go. Did I put anything in there? No, but it's, I may as well take that. I may as well take it. Here we go. And my bedroll. I've still got a bedroll there. Small engine. Yeah, you see. We want that. Oh, and some nails. Okay, is there anything I can get rid of in favour of the nails? Do we need the nails at this point for anything, really? Not particularly. These running shoes, having two pairs of them is not much use to us till we've got a workbench and we're able to actually uh, combine them together to make some better ones. So at this point, I will just leave them, I think. There we go. All right. Now, where did I put those blocks? There. There they are. Okay, so now let's go after that. I can't pick these up, can I? Duh, of course I can't. Okay, here we go. All right, well, we're just going to have to leave those there. That's fine. There's only three of them. Let's go after our drop over here, and then we're going to head off in search of some coal. Obviously, we're going to have to go back to our chest near our base and drop off all this loot as well, because we're all full up again. In fact, I can't... I can't fit anything in. Oh, my goodness. I can't pick up that drop now, because I... You see, this is a problem I always have in this game. I always, this or any other survival game, to be honest, but probably more so in this one because it's not by weight, it's by slot capacity. And uh, I never have any left because there's always a certain amount of equipment you have to carry with you, which is realistic. You would have to do that in a real sort of life kind of situation of any kind as well. But all the same, it is frustrating. Uh, I'm constantly out of inventory capacity, even when I've got a base. I just have to to and fro all the time with sackfuls of loot. But hey, at least we've got somewhere uh, sort of... We're going to have somewhere stable to keep it all soon. Okay, here we are back at our chest. Uh, let's see, I've got all sorts of stuff in here, and I've got a full stack of arrow of uh, feathers there, and I've just checked the arrow situation, and we hardly have any. So, no, I actually want those on me, don't I? There we go. So we're going to make some more arrows as well. Arrows, and of course we could only make 36 there, so in actual point of fact, I might need, uh, we've got 250 there, I'm just going to take, like, some. Because I, I'm constantly picking up feathers anyway, so that's fine. And then we're going to head down this way. So we may as well just go straight down here. We're going to gather some coal. Uh, and at the moment, we're, well, I want to set up a campfire, of course. We haven't got a cooking pot yet, or have we? Mm, I may have one in the chest there. I don't remember what I've actually got at this point, I have to admit. Somewhat lost the plot. Uh, but if we get some coal, we'll need that for the forge, uh, but we'll also want it for cooking things. I tend not to use wood to burn. Um, oh, Edgar, what are you doing to that cactus? 
Don't know, but it bit you, didn't it? And I'm going to finish you off. In hopes you've got something for me to steal, but I don't honestly hold out too much hope. Water. You never know, do ya? May as well have your mouldy bread as well. Alrighty, so where's our... Oh, just this way a little bit. And we've got some... Oh, yes, I see it now. Can't see it for the... Can't see it for the trees. Oh, we need... For the grass, rather. We need to make a new axe, don't we? This one that we've got in our, in our hand is a little bit trashed. And it's going to take a little while to get through this. So, there we go. Actually, I will just use my new one. There we are. Again, not like we can combine these, so we may as well use the one that's going to get the job done faster. Because it is already approaching 4pm. I don't want to get with the base building. Um, I need to make some more cobblestones. Make some more flagstone. And in fact, I probably should be doing that right now, but I can't because I haven't got the stuff with me. It's in the chest. So... That was short-sighted of me as well. Okay, do we have any more? Yeah, if we go towards our forge, we've got another couple of uh, lumps of coal over in that direction as well. Uh, nodes, I think you probably call them nodes. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if... Coal is the ore that you find buried in the ground underneath uh, the plains biome. In other words, is it worth mining in the plains in where we find a patch of gravel in hopes of finding coal? Um, not probably, probably not worth it until we've actually got a proper mining tool, i.e., uh, you know, uh, uh, an actual pickaxe, because it also was a fairly slow process. At this point, uh, doing any kind of mining at all, as I am finding, trying to mine out our our tunnel and our underground bolt hole. Uh, the latter of those is the most important thing at the moment, to be honest. But uh, but yes, if I see any gravel around here, it might just be worth hitting it a couple of times to see what we get. Is this a piece here? This is a piece here. Stone, sand. Yeah, well, of course, I'm going to get stone and sand, right, from hitting some gravel. But the question is, do I get anything else? Lead. Righty-ho, then. Oi! Holy moly! Guess what? We've got a horde. And it's mostly Steve. Well, we, we may as well bag a few Steves. It's a speed thing. Steve strops along quite quickly and gets there at first. Look at them all falling over the cacti. It's funny. And I've just made a load of arrows, and we're actually going to... Oh, mellying a horde is a really blooming bad idea, but actually I didn't make that many arrows, so I'm just a bit concerned that I'll run out. But I'm going to I'm gonna bag a few of these, if nothing else. Oh, I've hit a cactus now. There we go. I will just bag a few, because, you know, I mean, it's addictive, shooting zombies in the face. It really is. Where are you, Steve? I know you're not dead. There he is. And now he is. There we go. And then we can see what they've got on them as well. He's got nothing. That one's got nothing. Um, hey! Where did you come from? Sneaky! There we go. He's gone. Oh, nails. Only two of them. Pretty pants. Oh, um, treasure map. Well, I'm reliably informed that they are actually worth looking for these days. So, we'll take that. We'll take out a couple more zombies. There we go. And you're not dead, are you? But you are now. There we are. And it's probably worth... Smacking her over the head a few times. The others have wandered off without really being aware of our presence. There we go. Let's just check. No, nope, that's it. Oh, and well, we've leveled for our troubles. Fantastic. There we go. Now, I'm fairly sure there was another coal node around here somewhere, but I'm not sure where it is or if it's worth bothering with it at this juncture because... Time's getting on, so the horde's wandering off in that direction. They're not even going towards our base, which is excellent. We're still showing up that uh, that drop in that direction over there. Maybe we pick that up in the next episode, I think. Could definitely use the resources, though, of course, at this stage, the more resources we've got um, where we are, 
the more resources we have then to ship into our base. No great hardship. It's not like we've got ever so far to go. But at this point, we don't have anywhere below ground to stow them. And that is what I am going to be start, start, start working on now. I'm going to be doing that kind of overnight, really. It just makes sense for me to be underground at night mining stuff out but it's going to take quite a long time so i'm going to get on with that now i am currently crafting cobblestones as well i've got some flagstone blocks here but not ever so many so just before we head below for the night more snowberries uh we will dig a bit more of this out and place the blocks we've got here a bit more lovely clay there i think I don't know. It just seems like a bit of a gift, doesn't it, really, to have all this clay here. But it strikes me that if I dig up all this clay, um, I then have to replace it with something. So I then have to put blocks down. And if the ground level is where I'm at now, that is going to be potentially a waste of resources. So I'm going to have to use the clay that I mine out in order to make blocks to sort of replace it so that might be and there's plenty of other clay deposits around here that we could use like over there over there it's all over the shop so it's not like you know it's not like we need to worry about that over much i don't think so uh i don't know i think i'm gonna not dig that out just for the sake of it there we go it's gonna speed up the process a bit if we don't do that i think and at this point speed is of the essence because it is day 11 tomorrow so, there we go. How many of these have I got? 34. Actually, quite a few. So maybe we can finish this off before we go below. There we go. Glitching out ever so slightly there. There we are. There we are. And then I think these ones can just go where they are, can't they? At the level they're at, like that, which does run the slight risk that uh, they'll get sort of zombie punched. Let's just put these ones down a block. Then we gather a little bit more clay and they are less likely to gather zombie aggro as well. Look at this! Five past nine! Wowza! Time flies and all that. There we go. Okay. But we're nearly done here. There we go. And then I've got all of eight left. But once these flagstones, these cobblestones are done with, I can uh, I can turn all of those overnight into cobblestones as well. So into flagstone rather. Right, let's put all this lot away. We do, we have cooking pots. We have three of them in point of fact, uh, which is fantastic. So I'm going to put all that lot back in storage for the moment. And then we're going to head below with my axe. I've got the wherewithal to make a few more axes as and where required there we go and down we go got our hail hay bales at the bottom so uh we don't fall foul of our own ladders which is always helpful and uh, we desperately need to set up a cooking fire because uh, i want to be able to turn uh more water murky water into pure water for, water for drinking obviously uh, and he want to do some cooking as well we've got not in our inventories but in our chest we've got lots of jars and what have you so we've got everything we need at the moment we just need somewhere sane to put it all and the ability to do some crafting oh lovely some iron nice so we've got some coal we didn't get ever so much coal i think i just cleared about three four nodes of the stuff so we haven't got tons of the stuff but we do have some enough to set us up with a little campfire here and then you know we'll gather some more because there's plenty of it here in the plains on the map you see we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and that's just the ones 10 11 and that's just the ones i can see so that's worth a fair few lumps for us um and we can stick all that in up in the forge um and then we can use that um and uh, yeah maybe one of the things i should make is a, a land claim block uh now we've got our base set up we're gonna need a land claim block but i think they're pretty expensive to make actually um and i should have started the game with one but of course I didn't because uh, I started from a previous save where I didn't have all my stuff on me. In fact, I deliberately left it behind. So that was remiss of me. So, uh, but anyway, we are going to need a land claim block because that is the only way we're going to be able to be able to move, pick up, and move our own 
resources and I think land claim blocks are one of the things that stops zombies from just randomly spawning in your base as well um, which uh, is definitely going to you know, be something to avoid if we possibly can. Construction tools is now level 52. Alright, I'm hoping that my mining skill is going up. Mining tool skill is going up while we're doing this or is it construction tools only while I'm doing this? Mining tools 15. That is going up because it was 14 before. So, uh, so yes, I'm not sure. Is this construction or is this mining? It's kind of very difficult to tell. I would say I was mining rather than constructing here because I'm destroying, not creating. But that's just me. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to... Basically, I think we need perhaps... Well, obviously, what we decided, we decided we were going to go to behind this boulder and that's going to be our subterranean entrance. Um... But somewhere along the way, I'm going to go off in a rightwards or southwards direction. Uh, we're just going to have a small subterranean chamber there. Uh, and we're going to call that our base. Uh, for the time being, it's going to be our temporary base of operations. And we're just going to have a little campfire in there. We're going to have storage chests in there. We're going to set our bedroll in there. Basically, we're going to call it good. We're going to call that our, uh, yeah, our little bolt hole um, into which we can respawn if the worst happens on Horde Night or on Horde Morning, which is what happened last time. So anyway, guys, I've got my work cut out for me here and we have for episodes to come. But um, for now, I'm just going to, yeah, spend the night mining. So axe, stone axe, there we go. And then after that, we need some flagstone blocks. 125, go. There we go. Nope, that is not what I meant to do. And I'm going to scrap that one because it's no use to us whatsoever. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sunday Star. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, let me know, and feel free to give me your hints, tips, comments, suggestions, and all the rest of it in the comments. And I hope you'll join me next time. Oh, my goodness me. Temperature micromanagement. Um, and until then, keep gaming, keep surviving, and stay happy. Bye-bye for now.